I find this building really striking. It's got this wooden clad under roof on it that I'm going to try and capture. There's lots of detail with these wooden planks. So I'm going to try and get the, the geometry and the sense of scale of being under here as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is look up. Oh, having to bend backwards a little bit, but that's all right. So just looking straight up and I get a good sense of the detail of these of these wooden planks, but I don't get the scale. There's no context to it. So this phone has got a few different lenses on it. I'm going to try the wide angled lens. There we go, 0 0.6. And instantly I can now start to see a bit of the sky, this walkway, as well as the wood. But the other thing that's happening here now is because the sky is in shot, the exposure's not working. All of the wood's gone very, very dark indeed to accommodate for the bright sky. So I'm going to turn on HDR. There we go. So what this is doing is trying to get both the darks and the lights at the same time. And that is much more like it. So, so I need to tap just to help it out a little bit. There we go. I'm getting the walkway, I'm getting the roof, and I'm getting that sky all in the same shot. And that's fine, but it's a bit static. I kind of want to see where these grooves in the wood are leading to. So let's have a look over here around to where the roof disappears around the corner. And that's much more interesting, I think. I'm going to change lens. I'm going to go back to the 1x lens. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that is the framing. So these wooden lines now disappear, this, this curve around the corner. I've got the walkway also disappearing around there. And I've got this kind of squared off crescent, this negative space of sky on the right hand side that's quite pleasing too. So again, just make sure I'm nicely exposed and tap away. Really nice. That is the shot, I think. Let's take a look. This is the first shot when I was bent backwards looking straight up. And do you know what? I mean, it's, it, it's all right because of the HDR mode. It means that I can see some detail in the sky. That's not completely blown out. And I can see some nice detail in the wood and the walkway as well. So. You know, that's, that's, that's not bad as a kind of abstract piece. I still don't get that sense of scale, how large, how impressive this building is. So let's take a look at what happens here. Now, this is more like it. This is getting to where I want it to go to. We're getting that sense of depth as the wood runs off into the distance, into this little point in the corner here. And this walkway disappears off as well, although I've kind of cropped off the walkway. And there's a lot of sky there. So I could probably frame that a little bit better, like this. This is what I wanted. So we do have the dynamism in this shot, the eyes darting across frame, following these planks of wood as they disappear around the corner. The walkway also curves around the corner, leads the eye in. And then we've got this negative space, the sky. It's Again, because it's this kind of crescent, it's almost drawing the eyes back into the shot. That there is my favourite of the three shots. It just gets the balance of detail right. And again, because of HDR being enabled on here, I'm getting the detail. I can see the grain in the wood. I can see just enough detail in the sky. Really pleased with it.